Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and thanks to all the witnesses for being with us today. It's been a very educational uh, hearing so far, and I know it will continue that way with your testimony. It's my honor and pleasure to introduce uh, Shelley Gibbons. Uh, Shelley and I come from the same town. We were both from Tucson, where she is the vice president of Quick Mart, a family-owned and, uh, and grown small business in Tucson, Arizona. Uh, Quick Mart was started in 1965 by Shelley's dad. Growing up, uh, Shelley and her brother and sister worked almost every job there was in the business, from counting change to pulling weeds to secret shopping, which she still does when she's not being recognized. She told me yesterday that actually her dad was, would have the children around the dinner table and he would throw a bunch of change and he'd say, you better not count that. So uh, we need to do more of that, it seems to me. Uh, now, almost 50 years later, uh, the Quick Mart business has not only survived the test of time, but has grown. From those first three stores, uh, Quick Mart now has 27 stores, all in southern Arizona, and it is truly a local small business success. As a former smaller, small business owner myself and my wife, we owned a business for 22 years, a retail business. I know just how hard it is to start a business make ends meet, meet a payroll, uh, keep the customers coming back. And so I, my hat's off to any business that can survive the first five years uh, of opening uh, an operation, because that's usually when uh, businesses, if they're going to succeed, do and those that don't fail. As a member of Congress now, as a small business owner in the past, it's my job to make sure that the voices of small businesses in Arizona are heard here in Washington. And I invited Shelley here today to testify before the committee to tell us her family story because her family business is a shining example of the entrepreneurial spirit that is in so many Southern Arizonans and working families across the country. So I want to thank you for joining us today, Shelley. Uh, it's been great uh, talking with you and getting to know you. We met uh, many years ago when I was district director for Congresswoman Giffords. It's great to see you here today in my new capacity as a member. Uh, we welcome you and look forward to your testimony. Thank you, Mr. Barber and Mr. Chairman. My name is Shelley Little Gibbons. My family owns Quick Mart stores in Tucson, Arizona. My father, Wes Little, started Quick Mart in 65, like Mr. Barber said, where he opened three stores. My mother and father are the ones that chose the colors, the logo, and the name Quick Mart. He liked the way that there was four and four letters, so there's where there's no C in Quick. After these three stores opened, Mom and Dad would scrape and save until they had enough money to buy another corner or build another store. They did not borrow any money from the bank to expand the business. Growing up, there are a few mem memories I remember clearly. One is Dad working extremely hard to keep the business running, but he would also ho be home every night for family dinner. Another is how we would take Sunday drives. Mom and Dad would pack us three kids in the car and we would drive around the streets of Tucson. As I got older, I realized our family drives were to be looking at different street corners where Dad was contemplating building another store. Another family tradition was every time a new store opened, in the evening we would all drive out to the new location to visit and check how it looked at night. So you can see all of our stores are like another child in our family. Quickmark slowly grew from the three stores in 1965 to the 27 we currently have today in Pima County. The 27 stores we have are not all the original stores. We have opened and closed and renamed many a store. Since all stores are family owned and not franchised, if one is not doing well and hurting the company's bottom line, we will close it. Sometimes the city and county help with that by changing traffic flows so it is not as convenient to get to us anymore. Or sometimes it just turns out not to be a great corner. Housing developments that we thought were going to go in did not. Owning convenience stores is a hard business, especially after 2008. It became harder and tougher. Our vendors now charge us a fuel charge when they deliver products, unemployment tax, workman comp pre premiums, payroll tax, health insurance, everything every year keeps going up while the business, with so many people unemployed, keeps going down or is staying the same. Also, we are experiencing more shoplifting, beer skips, and robberies with so many people out of work and desperate. Our next big expense is the new Affordable Health Care Act. We employ over 170 employees. 
So either way we go, providing health insurance for our employees through the company or paying the penalty and sending our employees to the exchange will be a huge expense for us. But with all I have mentioned, we are very proud that we Quick Mart stores and Little Family have been open and around for almost 50 years. You do not see too many family businesses that have grown and have had as much impact on a community as ours has. We have kept many people employed throughout the years. We have even had many generations of family members work for Quick Mart. People like working for us because we are local. Our corporate office is right there in Tucson. Any of our customers or our employees can come by any time to see us. We have had a lot of loyal employees that have been around for over 30 years, and a majority of our employees stay five years or longer. Quick Mart, work Tucsonans. I would also at this time like to thank Congressman Ron Barber again for inviting me to testify here. Thank you.